So today's workout is going to be an AMRAP workout, as many reps as possible. We're going to do four different exercises, and you're going to do um, as many reps as you can for those exercises in 15 minutes, all right? Um, if you feel that that's going to be a little bit too much time, cut it down to 10 minutes or 12 minutes, all right? So first exercise, for those of you just starting out, you are going to um, just do a plank. Okay, so plank position. For those of us starting out, we're going to be on our elbows. Elbows right underneath our shoulders. Feet are going to be about hip width apart. You can start with your hands clasped one over the other. That makes it a little bit easier. Otherwise, try and keep your hands separate. You're going to count to 10, making sure that your body line is nice and straight, core is tight, hips aren't sagging or up too high. Okay, nice and straight. From here, make it a little bit more difficult, you can do the plank on your hands. So same thing, core is tight, nice straight body line, and you're going to hold for 10 seconds. For those of you who want to do the more advanced version, you're going to be doing wall walks. Now for this one, you're going to do five reps, okay? So you're going to start in the plank position with your feet against a wall, and you're going to walk your feet up the wall as your hands walk backwards towards the wall. So it's going to look like this. So you're going to slowly walk your feet up, walk the hands closer to the wall, hold here for a second, and then slowly walk back out. Belly on the ground. And then come back up into your plank position and do your next rep. So you're going to do five of those. Um, if you're afraid of scuffing up your wall, you can do them without shoes. Just take your socks off too. Um, because that way you get a little bit more traction on the wall and uh, you're less likely to slip. Okay? Second exercise is going to be a one-legged burpee. So, if you're just starting out, our modification for burpees is feet about hip width apart. You're going to bend forward, step back, come down on your knees, push up, come back up, step forward, and squat. Making sure that when you do your squats, feet are a little bit wider than hip width apart. Um, making sure the weight is on the heels of your feet, sitting your hips back, coming down as far as you, get, you can, trying to get your legs parallel to the ground, and then squeezing the glutes together to drive your hips forward and up. Okay? <clears throat> um, next level up is just a regular burpee. So, for a regular burpee, you're going to bend forward, hop back, push up, hop forward, squat jump, okay? And finally, more advanced version is the one-legged burpee. So start with your uh, weight all on your left foot, bend forward, Hop back on the one foot, keep your right foot up in the air, push up, hop forward, squat jump. Then you're going to switch legs. Right leg, bend forward, hop back, push up, hop forward, squat jump. Okay? And you're going to alternate. So that was two reps right there, um, up to 10. So 10 burpees for your second exercise. Third exercise is going to be squat jumps. Um, so we're going to do 15 reps for this exercise. So if you're just starting out, you're just going to do regular squats. We're going to take the jumping part out of it. You're going to start with your feet slightly wider than hip width apart. Weight on the heels of our feet. We're going to sit our hips back so that our knees don't go in front of our toes. 
We're going to come down so that we're parallel to the ground or as close as we can get. We're going to squeeze through the glutes, driving the hips up and forward to finish the squat. Down and up. Down and up. Okay? 15 of those. For those of you who want to do the more advanced version, you're going to do a squat jump. Same idea to start, feet slightly wider than hip width. You're going to squat down, touch the ground, and then pop up. Okay? Down, up, down, up. Okay? Trying to be ex as explosive as it <laughs> trying to be as explosive as you can on the jump part. Okay? So 15 of those. And finally, fourth exercise is going to be a wall sit march. So, for those of you just starting out, you're just going to do the wall sit. And you're going to count to 20. So, you're going to place your feet slightly wider than hip width apart. You're going to walk your feet out until you're in a comfortable sitting position. Okay, so walk your feet out, slide your back down um, against the wall. You're going to hold here. If you need to, put your hands on your legs. That'll help. You're going to count to 20 to make it more difficult. Keep your hands off of your legs. Okay? You're going to hold here for 20 seconds. For those of you who want to do the more advanced version, you're going to do the same position, but you're going to march your feet in place. Okay? So, feet about slightly wider than hip width. We're going to slide down. So that way when we're in this seated position, our knees aren't past our toes. And then we're just going to lift our feet. One, two, three, four, five. And you're just going to alternate until you take 20 steps. Okay? So, again, four exercises. First one. You're either doing 10 seconds of planking or five wall walks. Second exercise, you are doing 10 burpees or one-legged burpees. Third exercise is 15 squats or 15 jump squats. And then finally, the last exercise, you're either doing a wall sit for 20 seconds or you're doing a 20 wall sit marches, alternating left and right. Okay? So that's your workout for today. Try and go through, try and go through those as many times as you can in 15 minutes. Good luck.